Just when you thought you'd seen it all, the special releases 2019 elicits from the Isle of Isla on the west coast of Scotland in the Inner Hebrides, Lagavulin, or as some people call it, Lagavulin. For me, Lagavulin at cast strength is one of the true wonders of the whiskey world. Most people that I know who've drunk Lagavulin talk about the 16 year old, which has got extra depth and richness, or they may talk about the 2016 200th anniversary Lagavulin, the eight year old, which was made in a style similar to the way that Lagavulin was drunk in the Victorian age. Or some may even look at the nine year old from that very famous Game of Thrones collection that hit the shelves and our taste buds recently. But for me, penny for penny, pound for pound, the special releases of Lagavulin, 12 year old, and this is its 19th year now. This is shaken, not stirred. This is non-filtered, raw, almost like raw smoked meat in a butcher's shop, which may not sound exciting to you, but when those winter months come along, or you need that pick-me-up, you want that something special, this is the medicine I choose. I remember one time I was in a position of running out of mouthwash. So I used the Lagavulin 12 year old and it gave me a certain kick in the smile that I gave out for the next couple of hours. It just shows that Lagavulin is multi dimensional. I think Henry, who is the features editor for Master of Malt sitting opposite me, I think we should give this a try, yeah. would you say? Let's, let's taste it, yeah. This looks as if it's a delicate Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire. But my friends, as every year, this delivers on the palate. Let me just pass that to Henry. So Lagavulin 12 year old, American oak only. Refill, first fill, let's nose. So the first thing that I get, it's almost like burning embers. This is like a fire, a bonfire that's just smoldering. Okay. Raw and uncut Lagavulin at 56% alcohol. We'll try it neat, and then maybe, just maybe, with some water. So while I'm enjoying that, I wanted to, uh, for those of you who've never been to Isla, I wanted to show you on a map its location. So I found a map today and um, as you can see, we have the highlands, we have the lowlands, and right over, <coughs> excuse me, right over here, we have the Isle of Isla, where we also produce whiskey from Kalila and soon to be Port Ellen. But just going back to, just going back to the taste now, this whiskey is oozing typical Isla characteristics. Hospitals, bandages, TCP, bog myrtle, heather, tar, soap, carbolic soap, sweet turning to dry, and a finish that lingers in your mouth like that burnt bonfire that I just mentioned. We're going to see if Lagavulin can work in plasma. We're going to add a little drop of water to it, just a few drops. And I do say to people, or I'm asked sometimes by people, when do you drink Lagavulin? And I normally say I drink Lagavulin, preferably outdoors, in the evening, when the stars are out, with friends, with good friends. This is a very special expression. Not too many casks are put aside because the 16 year old is so popular. And I know that there are people out there 
who wait for this release every single year. The 2019 does not disappoint. To finish with water, I think with the addition of a few drops of water, my next stop will be Borough Market, where I will buy half a dozen North Atlantic oysters and drizzle this whiskey over the top of it. There ain't no fooling with the Lagavulin. <laughs>